me little sugar bookers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of The Foremans. Here we are you guys, freaking finally. I do apologize for this video being a little later than normal, even though yesterday it still was Foreman Friday in a sense because we decided to give Hawthorne here a glow over and then today we carried on the festivities with a room makeover. You guys, I am literally living for Hawthorne's new look, her new interests. It feels just so amazing to finally have a path for Hawthorne and honestly, it just came out of the blue. Like I was never thinking about it or or plotting it or planning it it just kind of developed naturally and I feel like honestly you guys that is the best type of storyline just something that just forms on its own anyway if you guys would like to check out her glow over or her room and makeover I will link those videos at the end of this one but just in case you guys want a little sneak peek preview you can already tell that your girl has purple hair now which is definitely a far cry from her vibrant red hair that she did inherit naturally which I thought was kind of cool and then over here is her room so you're probably gonna notice there's a lot of things just kind of lingering around a lot of clutter now I typically hate clutter I totally steer away from it but honestly this little room renovation completely and utterly changed my mind it just makes the room just makes the space feel a little more lived in and I love what I did with the desk here this is like a filing cabinet and it kind of just gave it like a Ikea vibe sort of and then I put the little stool underneath the desk so that like if maybe Hawthorne has some friends that come over they have a place to sit but believe it or not she can actually play her video games right from from the foot of her bed so she doesn't really need these chairs, but again, if we have guests or whatever, it'd be nice to have them. Um, I kept the original lamp that I had in her room, and if you guys don't remember, her room was just very like bright and yellow. Uh, turns out her favorite color is actually olive green, and it's not yellow at all, <laughs> so that was interesting. And then I added this light because I took it for the thumbnail, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that. It looks kind of cute. Um, I think June had one of these in City Living, and then we have her original mirror. Um, we've got her like desk, and not desk, dress. Sir. Uh, her little vanity table with her favorite scents and then over here we have her jersey we also have like a signed um little like soccer poster ball thing I don't know I can't speak I'm still very like jet lagged so if I'm not making a lot of sense like more than usual I do apologize but Hawthorne's definitely a jack of all trades she loves sports for one um she loves to play video games she also wants to get into programming which I thought was pretty neat and she even likes like photography and the arts she's definitely like a bucket like a hogwash of different interests but I feel like gaming and like computers primarily are her main interest so I literally just had her eat some cereal and I don't know why she's going in for like this two-day-old omelet but like I'm not gonna judge her you know this girl she loves to chow down anyway I don't have a lot planned today. I really, really don't. But I thought it would be kind of cool to have like a little gathering with some of our friends from high school. I found a few that kind of stood out. So we have, I think his name is either Yusuf or it's Joseph. I'm not 100% sure. But I do believe he is the son of the Viva family. And then we have Mateo Cooper and Bristol Cooper, which they are siblings, but they live in, they live in a different household with a married couple, which is interesting. I I'm not really sure like how all of that you know ties in together but I thought they were really cool sims Mateo's kind of like you know sporty but he's also like a low-key gamer and so he hangs out with Hawthorne Antoinette Bristol and, and Yusuf I'm gonna call him Yusuf um kind of on the low low a little bit but he's also like super charming he like feels like he needs to fit in with the jocks and the cool kids but he has more in common with the geeky gamers and all that kind of fun stuff which I thought that was very unique about him. Hawthorne really likes Mateo, even though they don't have like a really, um, you know, deep relationship or anything. Bristol is kind of like, you know, that girl, good girl gone bad. Like she dressed like she dresses like a librarian, but Loki wants to, <laughs> you know, she wants to bust a move. So these things are all very interesting in their dynamic. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe get them together, throw a little bit of a party. I think I even asked you guys if you thought that Hawthorne was a rebellious sim and a lot of you guys didn't think she was but I will admit to one thing even though I was a I wasn't an only child but I was the youngest child I wasn't necessarily rebellious but I definitely like to push the limits a little bit just to see what I could get away with I mean our girl has already dyed her hair purple right like does she really need to push the envelope any more than she's already done 
Probably not, but you know, Pace and June decided to over over overextend their Caribbean cruise, so I feel like we'll be we'll be fine. We have plenty of time, right? So right now she's on the computer chatting with a few of her buddies. I'm gonna have her come over and start maybe working on some programming, or you know what? Like actually, you know what? Better plan. Um, we are going to. She is feeling very inspired right now. This would probably be a good time to take advantage of that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have her go and practice her programming like she wanted to and then while she's doing that we can go and set up a little club but it's really just going to be like our party or should we do a house party with our club group I don't know <laughs> I'm not like I don't really do this kind of thing very often so I'm gonna have to just kind of like <laughs> sort of you know I mean let's just invite everybody over like as a house party setting but I promise you like we're not gonna get that crunk but I want everybody to like play video games so you know what on second thought let's go and set up a little club slash group so we are just going to um we're gonna like set it up as like a gamer group I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it mm, let me see um <laughs> gamers group like gamer gamer gamers anonymous uh gamers grunge sure I don't know I'm just gonna call it something and then we can change it later if we want to um I just want everybody to like come over and like play video games I don't want people just like randomly doing weird things so that's the only reason why I'm even setting this up in the first place but I want to make sure that I invite everybody that I had intended including Mateo so we've got Mateo we've got Bristol Antoinette we got Yusuf watch it's gonna be Joseph like the one time that I get exotic with it I'm gonna be wrong I just <laughs> I can already like feel it coming in the air so requirements add admission rule let's do um no admission rules but lots of club activities so for an action arts and art and music hobbies we are just going to choose wouldn't it be under hobbies like I would I would assume no probably fun and games right so let's do arcade machine play video games how about that all right cool so that's gonna be like the only club activity that we're gonna do I guess and we'll see how it works out and if it doesn't then I'll, I'll switch it up a little bit later so congratulations Hawthorne has successfully created the gamers grunge club I actually kind of like that name now it's time to recruit new members and hit the town or in this case hit our bedroom because <laughs> that's where we're gonna to get down with our bad self so I'm probably gonna have like everyone come over around ooh steamboat literally Caleb though every time <laughs> never fails uh, I don't know what we're gonna cook I was thinking about ordering like pizzas and things I thought that would be kind of fun um, but it looks like she wants to go and watch diamonds are for sims I'm loving the fact that she is just doing her own thing as I'm sitting here like you know just gabbing my freaking gums off she just, she just, she knows what she wants in life and she isn't afraid to like go and get it. It's awesome. Look at her. <laughs> She's still in her jammies. So it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's come over to the mirror and let me have her go and try on some of her outfits. This is kind of a cute little way to like show off uh, some of the, some of the new, the, some of the new digs that I ended up giving her. So this is actually her formal wear and I hate it, but you know, <laughs> if you've seen that video, then I've already explained to you that Hawthorne likes to not try. And this is her athletic wear, which I love. Um, and there she is back to her pajamas. It looks like Pace has earned 595 simoleons uh, for taking off. So if I exit out of the <laughs> Or will she stay in it or will she go back to what she was wearing? Oh, <laughs> hey girl, look at them hips. Damn. <laughs> she is so cute. Actually, I like this one. Ooh, I love this one a lot. And she's blushing. Oh my God. I think everybody should start coming over because I'm getting a little bored. Hawthorne's getting a little bored. You know, like, why not start the gathering a little bit earlier? Um, we're going to do it right here. And I'm hoping everybody will start making their way inside. Maybe I can come over and since I am feeling inspired, cook something for everyone like maybe bake uh, just some breadsticks or sugar cookies or the disgusting pre-mixed brownies oh my god I wish just because we were so into food we had more options but let's just make a plate of sugar cookies and that is seriously such a June thing like she would make sure that if she had guests that there was plenty of plenty of plenty of grub for everyone um, but you know we don't have the skills like June does so this is just getting going to be the next best thing and it looks like everybody is here uh, here is Yusuf. He has grabbed the tablet and he's just, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's playing some Bill Block, I think. And then Antoinette is over here 
um, playing on her telephone. I'm actually just going to see if I can kind of like set up Hawthorne's room um, so that we can play the video game. So maybe if I put this here, that should be good. And then I gotta move this uh, little bear probably like to the bed. There we go. All right, cool. So this should be enough, not for everyone necessarily, but at least for the time being for, you know, <laughs> us. What are you doing? You're snicking, you're snicking, you're snicking your schnoz. <laughs> Sticking your schnoz in the freaking mixture. But honestly, I would be probably eating it. I'm not gonna lie like I would absolutely be sticking my fingers in there even though there's like raw eggs and stuff oh I don't even care like I would what about you when you bake any like sweets or like cake cookies do you eat the batter is that just me oh my god the batter is the best like it's almost better than the finished product Woo! I am feeling tired y'all I'm not gonna lie like what is taking so long sister like put it in there whip it up let's go buttercup <laughs> Um, but yeah, here is Mateo. What do we think? I think he's handsome. He is super cute. Now, he's definitely not Hawthorne's type by any means. But, I mean, you know, he's definitely <laughs> caught her eye once or twice. So, hopefully, once she is finished baking these cookies, we can start kind of, like, hanging out. Um, playing some video games with our newfound friends. Yay! Good job! Okay, like, he didn't burn it. So, that, 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 that's definitely a plus. Let's have everyone go and grab a serving it together because we need to have some energy to you know um kick ass and claim names so let's do it look at her this is like the best thing in the world right now it's absolutely delicious oh she wants to buy a hot tub and she wants to ask someone to go steady <gasps> She wants a boyfriend. And I think that's absolutely adorable that she's showing that she actually wants to get into a relationship because I would have never expected that in a million years because she just doesn't strike me as the person to be like extremely outgoing. And even though I literally just said that Mateo and Hawthorne don't like have a huge, huge, huge relationship, I'm still really intrigued to say or see um, if there is any chemistry between them, even though they are completely polar opposites. But uh, let's find out a little bit. I'm going to have Hawthorne kind of like compliment Wait, his shoot. appearance a little bit. Oh and Clem says, hey, I heard you That's became so friends cool. with Antoinette. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she is. <laughs> so the Romance Festival is in town. How amazing would it have been if quite possibly it was GeekCon. That would have been amazing. That would have been so much fun. All right. Well, let me also go and, oh, she's got to go potty. <laughs> so she's getting really nervous here. Maybe we'll come over into the bedroom and start playing video games with everybody. I think that would be really cool. Let me see. Uh, I think I just need to click on the GameCube and then play an online game, pull, play a multiplayer game with hopefully we can at least get everyone. Um, I don't want to leave like Yusuf out necessarily, but I, yeah, I would rather rather have my best friend. I feel like her room is like so detailed and then everything else is just blah. Does anyone else feel that way right now? And I love how Pace and June are trying to enjoy their Caribbean cruise and then they're getting like bombarded with a bunch of text messages, but this is cool. I love it. Oh my God. He's like bumping his little elbows into me. He's making me all sweaty. So I think it's her against Mateo. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure. Hold on. I kind of want to see what's going on. Oh, somebody's little stick broke. <laughs> awesome. This is super cool. I love this a lot. Even though this group was just like for, you know, uh, the party, I guess. Um, I might actually keep it like the Gamer's Grunge. The Gamer's Grunge, right? That's a cool name. If you have any other suggestions, let me know. But uh, I want to get to know Mateo a little bit more. Our game is just about to end. And then we're going to see who is the champion. I hope it's Hawthorne. But I have a feeling that maybe it's not. Hold on a second. Oh, looks like we just reached level two of the video gaming skill. So now we can discuss game strategy with other Sims. Cool. Awesome. So we got a bunch of different moodlets here. And it says party shenanigans. Good game. Hawthorne didn't win. Oh, but she'll get them next time. I, I have no idea what that word is. But oh my god. It says Hawthorne is digging this club gathering. Nothing beats being able to fraternize with like-minded Sims. Let's do this more often. This really did work out great, didn't it? I'm actually impressed with myself because this is always just a catastrophe what if she got up and like flicked his nose as her way of flirting i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it this is going to be the most awkward thing ever <laughs> oh he's like you got me good oh my god i love him what a great personality he has an amazing sense of humor um let me see let's let's talk about some vacations with him 
And the reason why she's picking on him is because he was really coming for her when they were doing the little video game sesh. So she thought it would be kind of, kind of like cute to, you know, touch him, you know, flick his little nose or something else. Maybe not. Okay, too much, too far, too soon. I got you. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just get to know him a little bit more. I want to ask him, or you know, what, compliment his appearance. And I feel like Bristol right now is like seriously the third wheel. But I'm so happy that she finally got the hint. <gasps> He's blushing. Oh my goodness. I'm blushing. We're all blushing. Like maybe, maybe I'm not jet lagged. Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm getting in the moment here. Look at how, look at the way he's looking at her. I love him. Like I really do. They already have a romantic relationship. That is craziness to me. I only did a few interactions. That is really interesting. Um, let's go over here and tell an urban legend. Like I don't want to look like I'm obsessed with this kid, like following him everywhere. But I mean, a part of me, I'm not gonna lie, is definitely vibing him. Um, I'm gonna just see if we can flirt with him a little bit. And then because it is getting quite late, I might try to order a pizza, but this never works. Like, ever, ever, ever. So don't expect anything super duper big from me. Now, we don't have a hot tub. I thought I got one for Pace in June. Oh, I mean, I know we were on a budget, but damn, I didn't know we were that broke. <laughs> like, as 82 freaking thousand simoleons is just sitting here popping a squat. Like, <laughs> hi, I'm poor. How are you? And something I totally forgot about is the fact that Nixon and Marisol are literally across the street from us. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, especially while we are having the time of our lives right now. Um, Nixon and Marisol financially are not doing very good at all. Like they are in a serious financial pinch, as I would like to call it to the excuse me. OK, you guys are siblings, so we're good. <laughs> I thought they were getting a little close and cozy. I was definitely not feeling that. Um, but yeah, they're they're having a little financial crisis and it's worrisome because they may actually have to sell their house. And if you guys know this is already cutting it close for them, right? And this is like their, their first home together. And it's just really upsetting that they can't afford it. Anyway, we're definitely not going to get too deep into it right now. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll just we'll save that for later. But I just wanted you guys to kind of have a quick little heads up and be aware of the situation that's kind of taking place in their household. So anyway, I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to get to know Mateo a little bit more. I feel like if I took it too far right now, it would definitely feel a little forced. But if you guys have noticed, Hawthorne has been like up his butt the entire time. Like she has not left his side. And oh, <laughs> um, oh my God, what are the friggin' odds that a pole would be in my face? I'm just kidding. I mean, because <laughs> that wouldn't be the first. Okay, hi. Um, wow. Okay. So Clem decided that she was going to check up on Hawthorne. You know, she knows that she's been she's been home alone for the last few days. She trusts us a little sister. But, you know, she was she was 16, 17, once upon a hippopotamus. And uh, you know what? You, you ain't going to pull the wool over Miss Clementine Foreman's eyes. No way. No freaking house. So she's like, I had to take a smooba over here and it was expensive. This better be good. Uh, so Hawthorne, you better drop what you're doing and everybody better shh. Real quick, I'm about to be locking some people in, in, in the rooms. Like, literally, I'm going to be locking people in the rooms. I'm not even kidding because I don't want to get in trouble. Like, I don't want Clem to find out. So let's just go over here really quick and greet her. Like, I almost want to pretend that I'm not even home. So pause. Cle oh, my God, Hawthorne. <laughs> get in. Oh, because she, she would tell Pace and June real quick. And they're very strict about having... Um, they're very strict about having people in the house when they don't know them or they're not home. It's just the rules, you know, and it was really funny because other people were saying like how, you know, they're 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 very curious to see how June and Pace are going to handle Hawthorne's interests because they seem like a very like go outside and play and get dirty in the mud kind of, you know, uh, parents. And they are they, <laughs> they are. So this whole situation, although not necessarily rebellion, it's very different. It's very, very left field for them. So, <sighs> Okay, um, ask to leave. Tell an engaging story. Absolutely. So our engaging story is we've been doing nothing but hey, eating buddy. popcorn and sitting on the couch. And <laughs> look at her. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> How are you? Exactly. You lie, girl. You lie through your pretty little pearly whites. Just lie. Clem is like, I am not buying this for a second. She's like, okay, well, maybe I'll join you. She's like, no, 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 no. This is, this is, the, I, I, 
I got to watch it. You know, I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm, I'm like a few episodes ahead. And yeah, I don't know what the hell she's saying, but she's coming up with something real good. And she wants to enter a video game tournament and watch civic public access but uh whew, hopefully crisis averted um you know we're just we're gonna we're gonna show off our selfie right that's proof that we were on the couch just watching our favorite tv series see it's all good it's all good she's like oh okay well all right if you need me you know where i am Let's just ask her to leave. And the pizza dude, seriously, you guys, never freaking came. So now that we've almost got busted, I am going to, uh, I'm going to have everybody leave the second climb. She's like, bye, sis. Love you. That was so funny. <laughs> I love how like we were literally almost caught like so close to being caught I don't trust Clem though I feel like she's, she's gonna come back oh that kind of makes me sad she probably wanted to hang out with Hawthorne and watch their favorite TV series but what Hawthorne was trying to say is that you know she skipped ahead a few episodes and it wouldn't be any fun for her to to you know have all those spoiler alerts so um maybe next time Woo. Uh, but the real reason was, you know, <laughs> we have people in the house when we shouldn't. So I'm going to I'm going to just kind of end this group really quick because I am not trying to get in trouble like at all. Uh, but I would I would kind of want Mateo to stay. Uh, but that would probably be really like pushing it, I think. So I'm going to have everyone uh, go home. But I want to see if maybe I can like sneak in a little hug. Is that like way too obvious? I mean, it might be. It might be like mad obvious. But I'm not going to lie, when I had a crush when I was a teenager, like any excuse to like get my manitos on the person that I was crushing on was a good excuse. So I think maybe we'll just like try to hold him up real quick and like discuss a couple game strategies. I love the fact that she felt like getting in her pajamas would be the confirmation um, that she uh, that she really she was just she was just posted up and chilling. Um, look at him looking at her. Ooh. What else can we talk about? I think we could uh, we could discuss a few other things. Maybe give some props. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're gonna we're gonna be good. We're gonna be a good kid, and we're gonna have him go home because it is very late, and she does need to work on her homework and things like that. And also, we've got green goose just coming out of our armpits right now. Oh, that was sweet. All right, cool. So we're gonna ask him to go. Uh, Hawthorne, on the other hand, she's probably gonna like go and like take care of herself because she be she be stinking, she be stinking. And then I think. Um, um, coincidentally enough, I would be a son of a monkey's uncle. Wait, hold on. Did the pizza guy finally come? Who the hell is this dude? <laughs> Kabir, an elder? Like, are we just having the whole neighborhood checking on us? Like, does nobody believe what we're really doing here? Um, I need to have this guy go. So he is just, he's just overstaying his welcome right now. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Adios. All right, guys. Well, I feel like that was a, a lot of fun. It was really cool just kind of hanging out with Hawthorne. I'm very interested in seeing what this whole situation with Mateo will look like. Um, but as I was saying earlier, uh, Payson, Pace and June decided to, you know what, they, they they felt bad about extending their little honeymoon vacation. So they decided to come back home and we're going to have them come straight inside. Um, of course, they have no idea that Hawthorne decided to dye her hair. And June, even though, yes, she went like bleach freaking blonde at one point, June loves Hawthorne's hair, like loves Hawthorne's hair. And so if she would have come home and seen her daughter with this freaking like, you know, Barney looking mop on her head she's probably gonna freak out and I've never seen June get mad at her kids before are you freaking kidding me dude you just come back from like a two-day cruise and the first thing that he wants to do is go and work out oh Hawthorne really, really wants to go on a vacation life. too oh my god that is so sweet that would be amazing she if they did do something like that but anyways guys I just realized what time it is but I had a lot of fun in this episode it was chill it was fun it was really cool to see Hawthorne be a teenager get in her element and make some damn friends but you know I'm gonna let you guys kind of like pull apart the pieces let me know what y'all think um and with that said you guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here I hope Hope you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys